Alright guys, so this is my new car. It is a 2018 Honda Civic LX. It is a four-door sedan, four-cylinder engine, 158 horsepower. Ugh, so much. Uh, not really, but the car is really light, um, and so it does accelerate awesome. Um, I drove, we drove it back, what was it, two days ago? Yeah. Two days ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and that was a stressful drive because it was dark and we hadn't driven it before, but we got it here in one piece and it's now insured, so everything's awesome. So we can look around the outside. Um, it's, I had a 2003 Honda Civic before, um, and this car is definitely looks a lot better than the 03 Civic. Um, I think they redesigned the body in 2016 and they made it look much more sporty. So, and you can definitely tell, it definitely looks much, much more sporty. So whenever I first saw the car, I didn't see that it was a Honda, and I thought it was like something much cooler. Um, then I found out it was a Honda, and I was a little bit disappointed, but overall, Hondas last a really long time, and so we'll have this car for another 20, 30 years. So I think that um, Erica is because she doesn't like Hondas for whatever reason, but I like Hondas, and so it's going to be a really good car for a long time. So anyway, let's go check out the car we'll start with the most important place the trunk so that way we know how much groceries we can fit in there <laughs> and if our golf clubs will fit yes so. if, how many ericas we can fit inside the trunk <laughs> okay the trunk pop button does not work on the keys oh no maybe on the other key we'll have to try it Side works so oh man that makes me sad anyway it's got some leaves in there right now <laughs> oh um, no but oh. it it's got a lot of room in there it, it, it's a way more room than i thought we need to like put that on top of that thing still yeah i'm surprised they didn't detail the trunk that's a little disappointing oh. but good thing we have a handheld vacuum now so we can clean that up yep Wow, it's so spacious. It's very spacious, yeah. And we've got the spare tire and everything. There's a lot of hidden compartments in there Ooh. so we can stash all of our massive cash that we'll be oh, hiking. Oh, yeah. Um, then the other thing, I'm not going to do it right now, but the back seats fold forward. And so this whole trunk space, if you need to like have something long in there, it like doubles. In the mm -hmm. old Civic, they would fold down one at a time. Yeah. Um, but this one, they both fold down at the yeah, same time. Yeah, it's almost so, like a... Um, Hatchback, where like you know how my seats fold down and then it turns into like it's almost like that is what it reminds me of. Right, kind of like that. So. Oh, I thought I found it interesting. I just noticed this that there's um this little like so you can do it from out here. Yeah, you can do it from out here. You don't that's have to cool. go up inside and do it. Does it have the little lever? Okay, I can't tell if that's like the lever yeah, or not until like the lever. if you get stuck in here. So I, I always like to know my escape plan. Individuals in the trunk, <laughs> but if I do get locked in the trunk because someone is trying to steal this awesome car, um, I can escape. So. <laughs> Good deal. All right, let's go inside, guys. All right. I guess we'll start with the back seat next. The back seat is very spacious. You have your window controls, your door locks. <laughs> oh, who is it? It's Hello again. Oh, I think oh. I missed your face. Um. So there's, it doesn't look like there's any. There's no cup holders, which makes me sad real climate control or anything back here. Right, which, I, that's what I was really hoping for with our new car. But on a side note, it does look like you can maybe fit a uh, drink in here. Yeah, I can probably fit drinks in there. But yeah, that um, made me sad. Yeah, there's but no like fold down breaker. things. Some of them have the fold down things. This one doesn't. This one is an actual seat. So it is a five seat car. You can fit four regular sized people and one small person um, in here. So that's good. Mm -hmm. um, I guess because it's such a, like a decent sized cabin, it's not like an SUV or something. You mm -hmm. don't really need climate control in the back. Uh, so I guess it kind of makes sense, but 
Yeah. It's so it clean. Nice. It's so clean, guys. <laughs> like, I could eat off of this. Not that I would, because then I'd have food in my new car. But I could eat off of it if I wanted to. <laughs> Eventually, we'll have food in here. We'll have some Chipotle, some Chick fil A, and all the good stuff. Tell you what's next, baby. Alright, I guess we'll go to the driver's side next. Here we have our window buttons, our window lock buttons, so I can keep other people from rolling up and down the windows. We've got the trunk button, which is oh, in an odd place. That's interesting. But, so if you're ever looking for it, Erica, that's where it's at. Okay. And then we've got the adjusting of the mirrors. Mm -hmm. Door lock, trunk pop, traction control, tire pressure. Some Bluetooth on the steering wheel, cruise control, lights, of course, windshield wipers. Don't get the stereo, it has backup camera and everything. AC, defrost, climate control, parking brake, driving. There's the eco mode that we can turn on, cup holders. All right, so we can start it up. This is probably one of my favorite things about it is you've got like the electronic dashboard and everything, very quiet. Um, the fuel light is all electronic as well. RPMs is regular, so is the engine temperature. But um, anyway, it's got 14,000 miles, so it'll go a long time, I think. Um, and then whenever I was driving on the way here, the miles per gallon hovered right around 40 the entire time. Um, so that was pretty impressive. It goes all the way up to 80 miles per gallon. Um, I don't know if we're ever going to be getting 80 miles to the gallon, but <laughs> if we do, uh, we we'll can get it. Um, right. So yeah, then we can stash all of our goodies in here. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was oh, yeah. because my old one, this entire thing was the center console. Mm -hmm. Um, this one, not as as large but i think that actually like the size of it mm -hmm. um is probably just as big so i mean yeah i think it's as large because like it was cut in half remember right mm -hmm. yeah. um and i don't know if you can see but there's a tray underneath here um and there you've got like your little usb ports and everything mm. see yeah usb ports and more storage space more storage space up here of course plus a little thing that connects going through so you can take your wires and pull them up through oh, and everything oh duh that makes a lot more sense <laughs> i was thinking we were missing something no nope, not missing anything <laughs> uh, i guess i'll actually turn it back up into a space i'm just kind of sitting in the middle of the road right now which is probably <laughs> not fantastic but I was getting zero miles to the gallon while I was backing up. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why either. <laughs> anyway, let's go take a look under the hood. Alright. The trick is figuring out how to open it. Oh, this was so <laughs> Whenever we were looking at cars, I was really struggling. Um, <laughs> Alright, here's the engine guys. Um, I like it because right now it is very clean. My old engine was full of leaves and other stuff. Uh, but yeah, no, this one's very clean. Yeah. Whenever uh, we had it inspected they said there was they found some oil on the inside down there. 
um, and he was concerned, but he inspected it very good, and he thinks that CarMax just spilled oil whenever they were refilling the, the oil for the car. So anyway, no mechanical issues. The guy ran every test that he could think of and said it was flawless. Um, so it will be a good mechanical car, and it will last us for a good long time.